really is. I mean, but we got to vibrate at that higher level and say, you know, we we can make it. We just got to make sure we watch what we eat. I mean, if we go out there and say, well, anything that's greasy is going to be good for us. Well, we don't know where that grease came from. We don't know if it's a, a canola oil or a peanut oil or a olive oil or at least when you're fixing it at home, you know what you got, right? Yeah. Well, just put some in there. say cream? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just put some grease <laughs> in well, I need something to cool hair fill the top. Oh, yeah. I might need some help on that. <laughs> but it comes down to this. You eat good, and you listen to that mastermind because it makes you feel good, right? How does that make you feel? Yeah. When you have a good it meal. It makes you vibrate at a higher level. Yeah. yeah, and then when you start vibrating at a higher level, get this. Don't you think others vibrate at a higher level? So if I'm sitting there, if I'm like, well, that's yeah, what it, that's power what, hour. That's what it is. I mean, I I turn around. I have a I had a cousin that he was drinking a bunch of coffee at the time, and, and <laughs> my dad turned around. And my dad's girlfriend says, "Hey, you want another cup of coffee, Bruce?" He says, "No." He said, "If I have another cup of coffee, I'll vibrate right off my chair," and I about cracked right out of my chair. I mean, I thought I was going to fall out of it. <laughs> because you do, you vibrate at a higher level, but there's always the energy that we can bring naturally without that caffeinated or whatever, speed or whatever. I mean, natural <laughs> vibrations, happy, jolly, you know, making everybody feel like, you know, they're welcome, you know, and I love everybody on here. I'm just going to let everybody talk because I don't want to interfere too much. <laughs> Let's bring it back to a better time. like when Yeah, I, I just think when you listen to the Beach Boys, She's giving really, you like Beach Boys, eh, Chris? Vibrations. <laughs> hey, 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 if it wasn't for them, where would all the other rock? We could start singing, I could start a singing show. Boy, I bet you no one would tune in hey, I, I started a DJ fan page. <laughs> Cedric might, Cedric might be like, oh my god, my ears are killing me. Will you guys just shut the hell up? Oh, cut it out. <laughs> Dan's going to play violin for us. I volunteered him. Josh, oh, what do you oh, want to play? Oh, oh. What instrument? Well, he better play it fast and furious. <laughs> I, like, I like the piano. I don't know how to play it, but I've always thought it'd be fun to learn how to play a song or two. Yeah, piano's cool, man. We need to have a power piano. hour music night. Everybody Devil went down to okay. Georgia, the old uh, Charlie, da uh, Charlie Daniels song on the... Yeah, can you do that? Yeah, no. bring it right out here. Oh, come on! Oh, I, I have to kind of relearn again. I took oh, I yeah. did the violin as a kid, so I got to reteach myself again. Cool. The Devil Went Down to Jamaica. That's a good song, too. <laughs> yeah, he was looking for a bun to steal, though. <laughs> <laughs> that also more, makes it feel more than one. I think it was more than one, man. He was uh, looking for a lot of buns. Anyway. Yeah. Along, along with some rum. Yeah, there we go. Some Jamaican rum. Yeah, that's what you need. You, when you go to Jamaica, it's just bud and rum, man. That's all you do down there. He man, was I need, it and flying. I need to go there. I've never been to Jamaica. I've got my my mom's boyfriend. Uh, his dad's from Jamaica. He's Felix. He's a really great guy. Uh, my mom's boyfriend Derek was born in England. Uh, but he's got Jamaican, obviously he's Jamaican too, but he just doesn't have the accent. His dad has the accent really heavy, and they're really nice people, you know. Um, really, really love Derek and, and his dad. They're great people. I've known Derek since I was 16 years old. Him and my mom used to date years ago, and they kind of broke up. And uh, for a while, well, I guess for 10 years, no, it's longer than that. 16 years, 18 years they were apart and now they're back together and it's really cool because it's nice to see my mom so happy and they don't get to spend a lot of time together though because they both work so much so but they're making it work so I think that's great and I think that brings us to identifying the pain the pain points and the hardship you know because now we've gauged some reactions and discovered some feelings so I think it's time to seek improvement for everybody here tonight so all we got to do is we got to listen to some stories so do you guys got any stories about times you were on different masterminds or at different network marketing events and were you bored to death or were you happy? Like, what about you, Josh? You've been to a lot of events. I'm sure you've seen some cool people speak that got you all high and, and motivated or were they really boring and draw? <laughs> oh, he might be on a call or something. No, 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 I'm just, to, I'm just clicking oh. on mute. Just... Okay, well, you're muted again. I'm muted now. 
There you go. No, you're good. Can you hear me or no? Yeah, we hear you. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me know if it goes off because I think my computer's trying to turn it off. So um, I'm okay. kind of wack here. I got a lot going on. But anyway, yeah, I've been to a lot of events. Um, and, uh, you, you know, a dynamic speaker is always far better than, uh, than somebody who's not. And um, a lot of people have built huge enterprises just on being a dynamic speaker. You know, there's a lot of people with... Uh, you know, speaking careers, and absolutely, I think it's a skill set that we should all strive for, and um, you know, make your your content dynamic in this day and age more so than probably ever in, in history because there's so much content. I mean, I think there's I don't know something like ten thousand hours of footage being uploaded to YouTube every day, something like that. That's crazy. Man. I think it's even more than that, really, if you really think about it. Yeah, it may be more than that. I know that was earlier in my career. That was a number we used to quote, but um, I mean, content is just being generated like nowhere, like nothing else in history. So to compete with all the, the content that is out there, you absolutely have to be in it 100%, even to, to make a dent or to, to catch anybody's interest. So I think you guys are doing a great job with the show, engaging people and, and bringing together this forum. Um, I think it's awesome. That's great. If you, think, Thanks, if you think about it, you know, with videos and everything and how much content is coming out from that, uh, how, I, I don't mean to put it this way, but I'm gonna put it this way. People don't really think anymore, they just react. Yeah. What they see, they react, and if it's funny, or if it's interesting, or if it's engaging, or catches you know something with them, they'll watch. But if you have to make them think too much or something like that, um, then they don't want to put the time and effort into it. And I think that's why anymore they get so riled up with engaging uh, speakers that they get wound up and think, oh, I'm going to go out and change the world. But then when they when they realize they got to put time, energy, effort, and sweat, and all that into it. That's when they lose that interest and then they move on to other things. So therefore, you have to have that constant engagement to keep them there. Totally agree with you. Yeah, I do too, actually. I also think it's about people having the right motivation. You know, if you're dealing with skeptics that are like, well, you can't make money online. You know, I just go, okay, well, that's fine. See you later. I'm not going to waste my time with people because I don't want anybody around me to suck the energy from me so yeah I just I don't deal with people like that at all that's an important important thing uh, that you said there Damien uh, to, uh, to not let people strain your energy that you'll only only work with positivity um, positive people because uh, you know we're all in some form of sales at least I, I believe you know as a business owner you're in, you're in sales and uh, you know to dwell on negative than any other uh oh Josh we can't hear you anymore Josh I think we lost you maybe his computer one that's what I uh, I was gonna say he that's alright he'll come back no worries I remember when I first started in uh, network marketing and it was uh consumer choice marketing and I really didn't understand what the relationship that I was building and the vibration that I was giving off and so as I was talking to the gentleman um, I had other people that was in the background coming into the room and because they was taking that vibration and they was nulling it you know they, they was making it like null and void it was like no matter what I came across they was picking up somebody in the background that was throwing a negative aura around and uh, so at the time, a guy's name is Frank Hansen. He told me the best thing you can do is every time you get, uh, un, you know, decharged or whatever, where, you, where your vibrations are not vibrating where you want, just go plug yourself into something that's, you know, positive, like a, a Les Brown or, a, or, or, a, or a, you know, all the greats, you know what I'm saying? Just plug yourself into a, a, a positive vibrational, uh, meditation even whatever so you so you're recharging that battery because little do we know as we give off a vibration we also can give off a negative and not even know we're giving it off so as I'm sitting in I'm calling up this lead after lead and some of these leads actually are giving me a hard time where did you get my name I'm gonna call the police I mean it got really really bad and so 
I got to be down on myself. And Frank immediately, when he picked up the phone, he could feel that vibration that I was throwing back at him. Oh, yeah. He says, I talked to you earlier today and you was vibrating at a very mm -hmm. positive, upbeat level. He yep. says, what happened to it? I said, well, I talked to two or three leads mm -hmm. and I allowed them. And I mean, I, I allowed them. At that time, I didn't know that I allowed them. I got all, you know, went right along with the idea of going right into the, their negative aura before realizing it. And I lost the lead yeah. because they was picking up a vibration and I couldn't turn that back around because my vibration was so poor and negative and my atmosphere around me was so negative that they just found, well, why do I want to do business with this guy? Yeah. And click went the phone. 